Hey, Allison Bennett here. Today I'm gonna show you how I play William It Was Really Nothing by The Smiths. This is a short song, but it's really fast tempo and there's a lot going on in it. There's a 12 string guitar playing some melodic parts and I try and incorporate a little bit of that into what I do, but I can't do all the parts at once, obviously. So you're gonna need a capo at the second fret or you can tune your guitar strings up a whole step. Let's get started. Here's the first part of the verse. I'll play it slowly first without talking. And it's repeated four times. The first time there's no vocals. So we start with an F add nine. You're on frets one, two, and three on strings two, three, and four, and then add your pinky on the third fret, first string. Strumming four strings. Now keep your pinky where it is and your first finger where it is and move your second and third fingers up a string. So now you're on a C chord with an added fifth at the top. Strummed from the fifth string. The next chord is an E minor seventh on frets seven, nine, barring, so seventh fret, third string, eighth fret, and barred to the seventh fret here, played from the fifth string down. And by the way, these are fret numbers relative to the capo. And then there's a little added melody note at the 10th fret here with the pinky. Then you're shifting down to an A minor seventh. That's barred across the fifth fret. And you've also got your pinky on the eighth fret, strumming four strings. And then seventh fret, first string, and then fifth fret, first string. So you can incorporate that melody into the strumming. So here's that whole verse part one again slowly. Oops, I kind of messed that last part up. Here's part two of the verse. I'll play it slowly first without talking. So it begins just like part one of the verse did on an F add nine. And this is like, this town has brought you down. And then you take your pinky off for an F major seventh, then a C chord, then melody notes on open first and open second string, then a G chord doing this by just muting the fifth string with my second finger and then don't strum the first string so you want the highest note of the chord to be the second string then melody note third fret second string to open so and everybody's got to so next is an F major seventh and then take that shape and move it up a whole step part of my singing. <laughs> Not a good key for me. And that's the entire part. Here's the third part of the verse. I'm gonna play it really slowly first. So we're starting with an A major seventh chord. Here on frets two, one, and two, on strings four, three, and two. And then melody notes. So 
second string where you're already pressing for the chord and then lift your finger up so it can be open twice and put it back down once and then first string open back to second string so all that together is Then you're gonna do the same thing, but remove the first finger. So it's an A seventh or A dominant seventh. Next, we're moving to a C add nine. So your third finger can just slide up a fret. And then you've got your second finger on the third fret, fifth string, and your first finger on the second fret, fourth string. Oh, by the way, these are all fifth string root chords. So strummed from the fifth string, the A major seventh, the A seventh, and the C add nine. Then the C add nine melody is gonna be on the first string. So that's open first string twice. And I think I'm leaving my uh, second and third fingers down and then just moving the first finger here for the second fret first string, and then third fret, first string, and then back to open. Next is a D, uh, D9 add four. It's the same shape as a C add nine, so you could do it like this, but I'm using fingers three, two, and four for this to reach for the melodic part, which is the same as the C add nine part. All right, then you go back to the beginning of the section and do the A major seventh, A seventh, C add nine. And then to finish, instead of doing the D nine add four with the melody, you're going to do that. So it's sort of like this one, but using fingers one and two, and then your pinky is reaching to the seventh fret. So those are all the parts to the verse. The verse only happens once, it doesn't ever repeat. You'll notice I didn't go over any of the strumming with you because this is such an advanced song. If you're attempting it, I think you'll be able to figure it out yourself. Now let's move on to the pre-chorus. This part is especially hard to hear on the recording uh, and it's all picking. So let's take a look at it. So I'll go ahead and play the pre-chorus first slowly without talking. <laughs> So we're starting with a bar across the third fret, four strings, then third finger on the fifth fret, third string, and pinky on the sixth fret, first string. Plucking four, three, one, and then three, two, one. Then two, three, two, one. Next, your pinky is gonna move in, uh, or move down a half step to the fifth fret. Pluck that note that you've just moved to the first. And then four, one. And then three, two, one. And then three. And then your pinky comes off. So you're gonna pluck the first string um, barring at the third fret, then the pinky comes back on to the fifth fret. All right, so I'm gonna play that whole section really slow. Next, you're gonna shift up a whole step to, from where we started. So now we're barring at the fifth fret, four strings, and then seventh fret, third string, and eighth fret, first string. 
And the rhythm is a little bit different here. So we're starting with um, plucking four, three, one, two. And then three, one, two. And then three, four, two, one. So let me play all of that slowly. Then your pinky is going to go down a half step to the seventh fret and you're going to strum. I guess there's a little bit of strumming in the pre-chorus. I said it was all picking, didn't I? Well, it's almost over. Next, you move this shape down a whole step, strum it, and then back, and strum it again. And that's the whole pre-chorus. Now let's move on to the chorus. It's the last part that you need to learn. It's got some strumming and some picking. Here's the whole thing played slowly. an F add nine. It looks like a C chord, like an open C chord with the pinky added. So you're at the eighth fret, third finger, fifth string, seventh fret, second finger, fourth string, and sixth fret, first finger, second string, and eighth fret, uh, pinky, first string. And then you're going to take that same shape and move it to the third fret to a C. And then return it back the F. And then up a whole step to the tenth fret. It's a G. And then we're going to an A minor. And this is where we're picking. So you've got your third finger on the seventh fret fourth string. And you're barring your first finger on the fifth fret second and third strings. Plucking four, three, two, three. Then take your third finger off and add your second finger to the sixth fret, fourth string. That's an A minor, major seventh. And then you're going to do the same picking. Then you go back and repeat the chords. And then same thing with the A minor. bar all the way to the fourth string for an A minor seventh. Then the first finger moves to the fourth fret fourth string and then barring on the fifth fret, I use my third finger, I suppose you could use your second if you wanted, and you're gonna strum from four to one. It's an A minor sixth. So that's the chorus, then it goes back into the pre-chorus and then it repeats the chorus again. It does that a couple of times. Um, and the song ends on the chorus and it ends on that A minor sixth. And that's it. So there you have it. That's how I play William. It was really nothing. I hope you enjoy learning it. I know it's kind of a hard one. It's especially hard to do to tempo because it's really fast. Let me know how it goes in the comments below and I'll see you next time.